very much, Paul. Tomorrow on this program, Gregory Hines will be here. Stupid human tricks. And the world's smartest woman, Marilyn Mock Vos. Vos? Savant? Savant. Huh? She's so smart, we don't know how to pronounce her name. That's, that's how smart this woman is. And she is the world's smartest woman. Yeah, I'll bet. Okay. Then why is she on this show? That was, uh, and... Thank you, Paul, and uh, welcome back, folks, and as always, uh, thanks to the people who helped us out tonight with our stupid human tricks. It was very nice of them to do that for us. According to an article in this week's U.S. Magazine, I'm sorry, this week's Us Magazine, my next guest is the smartest woman in the world. Her IQ, what do you think, Paul, for a smart woman, smart uh, man, smart anybody? Well, Jill St. John's was, was 141, so <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> uh, well, I gotta go with that. Uh, this woman has nearly doubled that. It's two. 30 is her IQ score. Wow. Uh, that's the highest ever recorded. Please welcome Marilyn Makvas Savant, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Hi, nice to see you. Uh, please have a seat there. Why don't, you, why don't you, first of all, tell me about your name, Mach Vos Savant. Does that, does that mean something? Uh, Vos Savant is my last name. Vos Savant? Mach is just a middle name. Uh-huh. Uh, M-A-C-H? It's not a pen name, by the way, Vos Savant. Uh, Savant was my grandmother's name. Before she married my uh -huh. grandfather's name was Vos Savant. Vos Savant. D yeah. But does it have any, any literal yeah, meaning? It's supposed to mean a wise man or something like that. Well, that's more, that's a coincidence then, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hell of a coincidence, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, for the smartest person in the world to actually have that name. Yeah, right. Now, you know, you think I made it up, but I didn't. No, no, I didn't, I didn't no, think that. No, you didn't think that. No, you were thinking negative of me, would you? <laughs> 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 no. Did anybody ever tell you... I'm sorry. Did anybody ever tell you you have sexy teeth? No, I have not heard that. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I've, uh, no, I, I, I've, not, I've not heard you that. You do. You have sexy teeth. No, I don't. I will. They're, they're better in person. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is, yes, you got sexy teeth. Some people teeth. have them, and some people don't. Uh, I don't know what it well, is. No, I, don't, I, have, uh, I have miserable teeth. I mean, they're healthy. They're just <laughs> odd. They're odd. You know, I, I can eat... I can eat things through fences. <laughs> not, not that there's any call for that, but... Uh, uh, all right, now, Marilyn, let's get uh, back to uh, you and your uh, head. Uh, what... Uh, um, now, how do we know you're the smartest woman in the world? Well, you probably don't know that. I don't think anyone really knows that. Not that many people have taken an IQ test. And so I had the highest score on the Binet so far, but this very small you, when... minority of people in the world have taken a test, and... What did Benet know, for heaven's sake? I mean, back in 1904, he didn't, he didn't stumble over a Rosetta Stone. He no. said, this is what I think I'm going to do, and everybody's been imitating him ever since. So you, you took the test when you were, were 10? Yes, just after 10. Yeah, and uh, now what do, you, what do you do for a living now? I'm a full-time writer. I was in the investment business for a while, and I stayed in it just long enough to uh, make enough money to support myself yeah. as a writer. Now, now, do you do smart things? Do do when when <laughs> if, David, if I went about, to dinner with you, would I say, "My God, she really is the smartest woman in the world"? In about four minutes, I'm going to do something very smart. What what is that? I'm going to leave. <laughs> Geez, don't, don't let me keep no, you. I, uh, <laughs> we, we got a guy here who crushes cans with his head. <laughs> well, listen, you know, I saw the Bo Derek episode a couple of times, and I said, oh, my God, this guy's dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's fabulous. I got to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, uh, Marilyn, we have to do a. Uh, what do you think we have to do here? I can find out. Something dumb? <laughs> no, it's, we have to pause for a commercial here. Oh, okay. And then, then we'll be back to visit more with the, uh, the smartest oh, person. <laughs> the smartest person.
this program, ladies and gentlemen, a very talented, uh, funny comedian and actor, Michael Keaton, will be here. Comedian uh, Roseanne Barr and uh, Mariel Hemingway will be joining us. That's tomorrow. Later on tonight's program, Pearl Burnett will be here and also Gregory Hines. This is uh, the smartest uh, person in the world. Now, do you, do you feel smart? I mean, do you think you're really a smart person? You took the test at 10. Do you yeah, think you're last, still as smart as you were when you were... The last time I took a test was a year ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, you took the IQ test at 10? Or yeah, a year I've been ago? taking tests and was your, enough. Was your test. score better or, or worse since the uh, 10? Well, actually, the last test wasn't norm because only about 10,000 people took it. I had a record score on that, so they listed that in the Guinness, but uh, 1 out of 10,000 is not... I think we'll maybe come up to something like about 150 IQ. Yeah. So you have to but wait shouldn't until, you be do theoretically, till a million people take it to oh, get 175 or whatever. But shouldn't you be doing something more important with your, your life if you're the smartest person in the world? Shouldn't you be working on the Jarvik 7 or something? Well, um, I kind of have your philosophy. No. <laughs> what, what a time to have the piano tuned. You know, it's... Uh, we, we called the guy last week. He couldn't be here because of the holidays. And the smartest woman in the world. I'm sorry. Yeah, Paul, please, a little... question. I sort of have the same philosophy you do on Monday night. Uh -huh. I just don't care. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, now, now it says here we have some kind of uh, biographical information on you. Oh, no. I hope you didn't get all the wrong Oh, well. Well, it came from, <laughs> you came from your office, so I guess oh, you would know. Oh, did not. Uh, she is currently seeing five men, <laughs> it says here, a famous talk show host, an airline pilot, and a comedian. Now, who are these people? I didn't and say is this, famous talk show host. Uh, she's currently seeing five, a famous mean. talk show host. Yeah. Yeah. Is this I'm smart to gonna, be seeing five men? I am five not going to tell you. I know you're going to ask who the talk show is, and I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. I have had calls from all over the country. I'm not going to tell anybody. I told somebody. I told uh, Robert that... You know, I think <laughs> I'm smarter than you are. <laughs> we... <laughs> I don't, I don't think I, you're anywhere near 230, and regardless of what uh, you are, I'm 10 points higher than you are. I believe it. Go ahead. Ask me anything. I, ask me anything. I'm much smarter than you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the world's smartest person. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something. You know, one time... Don't I get to ask you Wait a minute. One time, Marilyn, we had a woman on who claimed to be the world's fastest typist. And it turned out she was not the world's fastest <laughs> typist. So I'm a little... Forgive me if I'm a little skeptical. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? It's just, how do we know, you know? Like, uh... Don't you want me to ask you a question? Okay, go ahead and ask me a question. What are you doing Saturday night? <laughs> Uh, see, now, that's, not, that's, that's, uh, that's a dumb question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> David, I thought it fit right in with everybody, the format of the Everybody show. knows Saturday nights, I bowl. <laughs> Gee, Marilyn, it was, uh, it was nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Nice uh, to meet you. I know you have to run along. Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll be right back. The world's smartest person.